What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new action figure news for you guys coming out of the wrestling space, of course. And today, man, we're going to be diving into some AEW action figure news, which I feel like is pretty light here lately, man. I feel like it just the releases and stuff have been kind of inconsistent. But today, it gets a little bit wild. We have a very unusual, very interesting release that we have to talk about here today, man, that totally took everybody by surprise. And we're going to kind of dive into the lore of that and maybe why that is and just kind of break down the entire thing about the entire situation, man, so I hope you guys will join me, sit back, relax, and let's dive into this news, man. So yesterday, very random, very random thing that took place. I think I got tagged in a tweet or something that said, do you know anything about this or what is this? And it was this image of this CM Punk figure. Yes, a CM Punk figure releasing by Jazzwares in AEW. And it, it looked very weird. Like, the way the, the the post was, it was from a website I've never heard before. I think the website was called Collect Forever. CollectForever.com. Never heard of it in my life. I think they do trading cards and stuff, or different collectibles, I guess they do. But I had never heard of this. So, you know, I, I tried my best to try to investigate the situation. And come to find out, man, they were putting up a CM Punk AEW and Rival Collection figure, Collect Forever exclusive, one of 1,000 that have, apparently is available in April 2024, and it was this CM Punk figure that you guys will see right here, and you will notice that it's got this unrivaled packaging, it's got this, like, blue, instead of the gold foil, or the silver foil, or the red foil, or the orange foil, or all these different foils we get out of the AEW packaging, it was this unique blue foil, which looks pretty damn good, I ain't gonna lie, it looks pretty good men on card, it, you know, it kind of is in this clear acrylic case, case, which we're gonna get into and whatnot, but you guys can see the CM Punk figure, it's got this Collect Forever sticker on it, it says CM Punk, it's got the kind of standard unrivaled packaging, but it does have this navy or darkish blue tint to it, which looks really good. Similar to the Luminaries, but not quite. I think it's a little bit darker. It's like, whatever, and at the bottom it says uncirculated, but but I get tagged in this, and so I did some investigation, and apparently this is a legitimate figure. This is a legit figure. This is a re legit release. I talked to somebody over at Jazzwares, and this is legitimate, so I had a lot of people messaging me, what the hell is this? Is this legit? This, this site looks fake. This site looks scammy. Yada, yada, yada. I got many messages saying stuff like that, so I wanted to double and triple check. Yeah, so this kind of took us by a surprise. Nobody, you know, knew about this figure, and it's very odd coming off the heels of the Unmatched Collection Series 8 figure, you know, the Ring of Honor CM Punk, and then, of course, we did have the Chase CM Punk in the red shorts compared to the yellow shorts, and we knew that the Supreme Collection, the Series 4 Supreme, was canceled, and it's very crazy because, you know, we would have already thought that, that maybe that, that Supreme Collection figure, we got the Walmart exclusive version, we thought that maybe that Supreme Collection Series 4 version that was supposed to be in the wave with Thunder Rosa, we thought that that figure Figure, probably should have been in our hands by now and this figure comes out in April so I know a lot of people are going to be like why couldn't we get the Supreme but we're getting this random weird release here on this exclusive it is very strange it's definitely very strange and I don't know all the details behind that on why we got this figure and we're not getting that Supreme collection figure but this figure is just very unique let's dive into the figure itself and then we'll talk about some other details about this figure so you guys can see it's pretty much the unmatched series 4 figure you guys remember the first ever CM Punk I think it was from AEW and Jazzwares was the unmatched collection Series 4. It had the skinny legs that I didn't like. It was the dark blue pants. And this is what this figure essentially is. It has like the right kick pads or those, you know, those different kick pads there. And it's essentially that unmatched collection Series 4 figure, but it looks like they did include the t-shirt that came on his ringside exclusive figure with the ice cream bar. So they kind of combined figures there. It's got an AEW microphone. But another thing that's very unusual about this release, man, is this thing is sealed in an acrylic box case thing. So I don't know the exact term for it, but it's sealed, and I don't think it's meant to be opened. This is not a figure that you're meant to, you know, open up the case or whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure this is, like, cemented inside of this case, and I guess you could crack it open or break it open or what have you if you wanted to do so. I don't know who all bought this. Maybe if you bought this figure yesterday, let me know down in the comment section below. It's weird because it's up for pre-order, but apparently it's a 1 of 1,000, which is very interesting to me. So, it's, you would think being a 1 of 1,000 and being a quote-unquote chase figure or an exclusive style figure that it would sell out quick but maybe I don't know maybe there's not enough changes for people but I don't know you guys can let me know I did grab one I definitely grabbed one for the collection there but it's very interesting nonetheless so it is in this case I don't think it's meant to be opened which is a very just crazy thing in general so I don't I don't really know exactly 
what that is there, why they decided to do that, but maybe that's part of the website's, you know, thing. Maybe that's their game is they, you know, they do cards and collectibles, things that are sealed, you know, when you get things minted or you get things graded and whatnot, and it comes in that acrylic case or whatever that you don't ever open. So maybe that's kind of the thing that they're trying to do there. I don't under, I don't know about the, the crossover there between those two communities. Maybe you guys, you know, are, are more familiar with that than I am, but collectforever.com releasing this CM Punk figure. Very strange, you know, we dive into the figure, we're diving into the, it being sealed up, but it's very odd too because it was just a random thing, and I don't know if somebody was just on the website or if somebody posted it up. I mean, it kind of spread a little bit, like, there was a few people sharing it here and there, not anything like crazy over the top, but I thought it was just a very strange thing because, you know, AEW and Jazzwares wasn't promoting it, but I guess that makes sense though because why would you promote a figure from your official, eight? like if, uh, I'm trying to think, if Cian Almas, if Cian Almas was getting a new figure or something like that, or hell, even, you know, Edge, if Edge had a WWE Elite coming out and he was, it was coming out on the tail end of him leaving, like right after he left, there was a figure coming out or something like that, they probably wouldn't go out of their way to promote the figure, I don't think. So, you know, they'd still post them up and show images and, you know, they'll talk about it being part of a wave maybe on ringside or something. But I don't think Mattel would straight up just repost that figure or share news about that figure. So that's probably why they didn't do it. Jazzwares or AEW not sharing that figure is probably, you know, is CM Punk leaving and going to WWE, why would they turn around and promote that figure? and be like, yeah, buy our new CM Punk action figure because he's not even with us anymore. So, uh, you know what I mean? So, that's probably why they didn't promote it or why this release is kind of odd to a lot of people, obviously. How are they still releasing figures of CM Punk? I have no damn idea. There's another piece of lore right there. But another thing about it is if you look at the packaging, there's a number one on there. So, there is a number one on the packaging, which leads me to think this is not the end of these style figures. So, are they going to continue to do figures this way? Or are we going to get more than just CM Punk? Um, that's going to be a whole different thing. I guess it's going to just depend on how well these sell and whatnot. You know, I don't know if there's an agreement behind the scenes. You know, we'll come in together. We'll do five figures this year. We'll do three figures this year. We'll do one figure every six months, whatever the case is. But CM Punk being the first figure, I saw a lot of people not very interested in this figure. I saw people saying, you know, this is a lazy release. I saw people saying that they're just not in on this exclusive being that different compared to the others. But, you know, the Shop AEW exclusives, some of them are very different and some of them aren't that different. If you look at the Hangman, that one wasn't very different. The Hook figure wasn't that different. It had black boots and a t-shirt, you know. So I guess it's just kind of PYP, pick your poison right there. You know, you got to just decide there. Like the Eddie Kingston Shop AEW exclusive, very different, right? Blood and Guts, gas can, very cool figure. Jade Cargill, really cool repaint. So I think it just kind of depends there. But on the CM Punk figure, I don't know, man. I I'm grabbing it just to keep it in the acrylic case. I thought about buying two of them and opening one up until I, figure, or I figured out that, you know, you'd have to, like, break break this thing open and then it's like what if I break the figure and you know for I think it's like after shipping it's like 60 bucks or something like that and I didn't really do any international stuff I saw some people saying that they didn't ship internationally I don't know the the truth behind that, you'll have to go over there and add it to your cart and see, you know, if you're international seeing this video, you'll have to go over there and actually check it out because I have no idea if that's actually true or not. So that may be something you want to look into. But uh, yeah, this figure came out to like 60 plus bucks once it was all said and done when you added the shipping and the taxes and all the different stuff going on there, man. So to, you know, it's a collectible. It's sealed up there in the thing. I don't know. Aren't Shop AEW exclusives the exact same price or very similar, $49.99 or something like that. So I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of the price down in the comment section below. Just a very odd release, man. A very odd CM Punk action figure release right here. And again, there's probably more coming down the road. I don't know who they could put in there that will make it, I don't know, sought after. Because why would you make a, you know, I, I, I find the being sealed in the acrylic case thing very weird. Because why would you, you know, a lot of people collect men on card. So I understand that. I, there are a lot of people that collect men on card only. People do not open them up. I feel like that is definitely a thing. But there are ton of people that collect loose and want to open the figures up, do figure photography, things like that. So I feel like the men on card community or the people that only collect men on card are probably the ones that these figures are going to be uh, sort of attached to or the, the audience that these figures are going to attract because why would somebody pay $65 for a figure that you're going to have to legitimately break the case and seal open to get to it. You know, it's not like a regular packaging where you can just use the trusty knife, cut that thing open, and bam, here's the figure. You have to actually go out of your way to break the thing open, or at least I do believe so. So why would somebody that wants it loose 
pick one up to open loose and they have to go through all the trouble of breaking it and stuff like that. And then it becomes, why would you release a really awesome figure that way, knowing that people can't take it out, pose it around and stuff like that, right? So this figure it makes sense if it's been on card. It's a little bit different. It's got the shirt, like the ringside exclusive shirt on the long tights. However, a lot of people, you're not going to be able to take it out anyway. So they didn't, if they would have done like a really cool CM Punk this way, people would be pissed off like, oh my God, why the hell would you release a, C a great CM Punk figure when you can't even get to it in the acrylic casing? So it's kind of like a, you know what I'm saying? There's sort of a thing there where you have to weigh the different options. Releasing a figure that looks cool while also not releasing a figure that's so badass that why the hell would you do that to people that really want to get to the figure and open it and pose it around and play around with it? So you know what I mean? So that's kind of the different, I don't know, the duality of man right there. So that's kind of just where you sit there. But I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of this down in the comment section below. Again, a very interesting thing. Came out of nowhere yesterday, wasn't prepared for it. I was kind of confused. I was like, what the hell is even that? So I, you know, I totally understood where people were coming from. Definitely an interesting release. Way out of left field. Nobody saw this coming. And so, you know, I really miss, I feel like we haven't had a reveal show or a fan fest or anything where actual figure reveals have been out and out and about and you know they're doing the meet and greets showing off figures and doing all that different stuff with the displays i feel like we haven't seen one of those in a really long time man, and i love that stuff so hopefully we can get back to that i feel like most of the time these these last few shows have been really small or it hasn't been much revealed so i would really like to see some new figures on display and and stuff like that because i felt like the fan fest were killing it man and i, I don't know i don't know what happened there but anyways man that i think that's pretty much going to wrap up our weird cm punk action figure release yesterday but again i'd like to know your thoughts on the whole situation did you grab one are you skipping over it what are your overall thoughts on this entire thing man i would love to know down in the comment section below but before we get out of here huge shout out to our patron members man huge shout out to bama figs actually for signing up just the other day huge shout out to my man peyton right there fellow alabamian so huge shout out to you brother thank you so much for signing up on the patreon but outside of that man i think that does it for today's action figure news man in our wrestling figure community but i'm getting the hell out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one Thank you.